Welcome back to the 504. Well, we've been talking about the show Single Black Female tonight. It's a two woman show that explores the lives of black women in their 30s, really just trying to live their lives. Marla Sherdon is the producer of the show and Tiger Verdon is the director with fancy last names, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the show. I said Tiffany and Indy were going to tell us about the show after the break, but we've got everybody from Single Black Female on the show everybody. tonight. Everybody. Welcome, guys. Thank you. This Thank sounds you like such us. a great project. Tell us what kind of inspired you guys to do this. Yeah, well, I mean, Indy and I were certainly uh, thinking there was a dearth of stories uh, about black women in the city, even though there's an, an, a vibrant art scene. Uh, but we felt that it could use a little bit of uh, extra oomph. And, you know, we are always having to contend with stereotypes and, and mythical narratives about our imagery. Uh, but we felt single black female delved into the black female condition of single women primarily uh, and much more extensively. And we felt it was perfect for the city, you know, an urban uh, play set with you know, urban professional women. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that fits the New Orleans scene exactly. So, again, a way to make our lives more capacious. Uh, and to see us in all of our nuances and the ways that we live uh, like everybody else. Really cool, but that's also such a big undertaking, right? Because <laughs> Correct. then you're like, I'm gonna show what it's like to be a black female in her 30s who's single, and then people are gonna be like, that's not me. Right. Or maybe they'll be like, it is. Right, well, I mean, you know, certainly we're not monolithic, right? We're all right. women having a black, we're all women having an American experience, but, uh, but this sort of, you know, is particular in, uh, some of the common challenges we face, I think, is, as young mm. black women, and how we sort of navigate the terrain of, you know, what, you, what is now the fourth feminist movement, you know, and, and how do we uh, work through these ideas of liberation and independence and what that means for us culturally and in our communities. So, uh, yeah, I think, I think it's going to be fun. It's funny. Um, and there may be something that a black woman can pull out that she can certainly recognize in herself. But we want everyone to come see this, right, Tiger? Oh, exactly. You know, I, I'm gonna tell you, if you're female, you're gonna you're gonna relate. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the show, uh, Dr. Lisa Thompson wrote this show, and, and she's just amazing the way she took vignettes and put it together, and uh, she takes pretty much the African American female cause from about age eight to about middle age, and. You're gonna relate to it from dating to who you meet, from interracial uh, experiences of meeting people, whether it's in a club, whether it's uh, at, on on the phone. Um, we talk about racial profiling, and you know all of the great social, I guess, experiences that that everybody goes through. You're gonna relate to it no matter what. And, and Ladesha and Tiffany do such an amazing job. Um, they play about ten different characters each, from wow. Uh, from male to female to uh, young children, and they're just fluid and amazing actresses that just knock it out the park. Really cool. Talk about the four of you guys shows here, a two-woman show. You often hear one woman show or you got cast with a million people. The two-woman show, where'd that idea come from? Well, I think that really derives from the playwright, Lisa Thompson. Mm. I mean, this was her making. Um, but I think that, you know, you see a lot of alter egos that sort of play off of each other. So even though they're two women, they really flesh out multiple characters. Right. Uh, which is why I think that you know most black women would be able to identify at least uh, part of themselves in at least one of the characters because you have so many to choose from. But it's funny and it deals with you know some issues of pain and, and childhood wounds and um, you know God we can all attest to that. But I think that uh, as black people we use humor as our best tool to mm -hmm. unfold and unmask some of that. Uh, and at the same time, again, it's making space for uh, the many narratives that we hold as black women in, in society, and, and certainly as single black women. Wonderful. Yes. What feeling should we leave with? I know you said there's gonna be some funny moments. Oh, there's, there's many funny moments. Um, I, I, I believe a sense of pride, mm. uh, 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 as well as a sense of blackness. You know, it's, it's kind of hard saying that as a, a white male, you know, but that's, 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 the, that's the real key, I believe, is having pride pride in who you are and who you've become throughout the years with all of the experiences that you have been through. Mm -hmm. You know, it's who are you today because of what you've been through. I thought you were just light-skinned tiger. All right. Yeah, all well. right. <laughs> it sounds like a great show, guys. Thanks for being here tonight, guys. The show is Saturday, March 3rd from 7.30 p.m. till 10 p.m. It's at the Art Club, which is at 1941 Art Street, and the tickets are $18 in advance, 20 at the door, and they've got some special discounts for special groups, so make sure you look this up for more information. That is all for tonight, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow night at 9 for more of the 504. Thank you.